Hey guys, it's Jim Rose from RPM Dynamics. This video is going to be about some of the forward-thinking tools this console has to help you craft your mix based around inputs and outputs. If we go to the channel view on this console, you'll see there's some boxes here. The AI box, which is active right now, we'll just turn that off. AI allows this console, when it's running, to be able to listen to a channel, interpret the waveform, and come up what it thinks is an instrument. And in doing that, it can label your channels, and once it starts gaining information on what those channels can have, can help you start crafting your channels. It's in its infant stages. It works on the console. Few of the things it misses, but as a as a you know a freshman venture into this, it's pretty awesome that it's working the way that it is. And as this console grows, the reliability and the the specificity of what it recognizes will grow, and the amount of AI introduction to the channels that it's doing will be better and better and better. But it's pretty awesome it can do that. Some of the other features on here, this little thing that looks like a set of headphones. This console has true audition, which is unbelievably cool. If you are mixing a show and you have a set of headphones or cans or your monitor guy, and you notice something sounds wrong, how many times are you mixing a show and you think that there's your vocals sounding weird or something's going on, and in order to find the problem, you'll grab the frequency, right? You bring it up, you'll sweep it, you'll find it, and then you'll cut it because your ear reacts better to addition and subtraction. For anybody else in the room, all it sounds like is a passing note, right? It just sounds like a note that, there we go. It sounds like a passing note that it just could have been something off the wall or whatever, but if it's what you're listening for, you know exactly when you hear it and it allows you to fix your mix. With this console, when you're in audition mode, if we turn this cancel off here, this is the EQ. Say your vocal EQ is like this. I'd probably, you'd shoot yourself if it looked like that, but say for, for the sake of saying, this is what it looks like. And something's bothering you and you can't figure out why something in this area here sounds like it's wrong but this is what you've got so in your show do you want to take this and start sweeping it like this or bring it up so you get more of it until you find it and have it affect your show where everyone has a possibility of hearing it well, probably in the passing note no one will notice it you'll hear it but it is something that happens during your show with this console now if you go into the audition mode the pa will stay fixed with the eq like this, but while that's going, in the context of the mix, through your solo bus, as you move these frequencies and these changes, you personally can hear this in real time happening, but nobody else can, just through your solo bus. And when you find what the problem is, you go, oh, I really needed to do this, and this was a little too high, right? So now this one here is a little too high, so I'm gonna fix this EQ, and now all of a sudden, this god awful weird EQ for a vocal sounds great. And when that happens, you wait till there's a break in the singing or the time is right. And when you hit apply, that EQ is translated into the show real time. That's a really unbelievable feature because now you can find your problems and fix them in real time without it being something that a show person hears or someone in an IEM hears, any of those things, you can do that. Another option you have is a preview. And I don't have any other, I've only got one scene in here, but basically what you can do now is you can take EQ and you can change things or you can look at what's in another scene. I can preview what's in the other scene ahead of time and I can change this stuff and I can store it in the scene ahead of me, right? This has now made that scene have that and I can go back to my scene, but now when I go into scene one, this change is gonna be active. So I can look ahead, I can make changes, I can store my, my new vocal setting, I can go ahead to scenes and move it to there, or I can make changes while I'm mixing in a different scene. So these, are, these audition features and the, the preview feature in this allow you to think ahead and preemptively fix things in your mix. So these are new features added in here, which are the features are again their audition, which allows you to listen to things in real time that doesn't go out of your solo bus and then institute it into the mix. 
the preview, cancel this out, the preview here, cancel, the preview allows you to look at things that are happening in a different part of the show, modify them, store them, and then while you're active in your own scene. And then AI allows you to read the waveform and import data to that channel based on what the, what the console finds. You can set it up with an auto name feature. You can do a lot of things, but as AI grows over time, more features I'm sure are gonna become part of it. But at this, this stage, it's doing a pretty good job of finding about 70 or 80% of the of its sources correctly so it's off to a good role for a console that has never had this before or something that's pretty unique to the world so this is the forward thinking features that you're going to be able to find in this first rendition of the midas heritage d hd 9624